Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting character that focuses on weakness break and damaging toughness bars. Her name is Shui, at least that's what I believe it is, hopefully I'm correct. So, before I start going over the kit analysis and first impressions, I would like to point out that all traces are at level 10 and the character is at level 80. So now, let's start with the basic attack. Basic attack is nothing special, it's not something that you will use it at all. It deals damage based on her attack, is quantum damage to a target enemy. Now, let's move over to her skill. Her skill deals quantum damage equal to her attack to a single enemy, and also deals quantum damage to adjacent enemies, but the value is halved. Also, the weakness break for single target is 60, and blast is 30. This is also very important to keep in mind because the character is all about weakness break, toughness damaging, so I will make sure to mention these numbers here as well. As for her ultimate, which is a very very interesting powerful strong ultimate basically you will deal quantum damage based on her attack to a single enemy and this attack ignore weakness types and depletes the target toughness when the enemy weakness is broken the quantum weakness break effect uh, will be triggered the more toughness will be depleted the higher the damage dealt for this attack will go up to 60 percent the weakness break of this ultimate it is 120 it is extremely high as for her ultimate cost it is 120 energy now let's go with the talent she will gain stacks whenever she depletes target toughness that's basically the toughness bar of enemies and with more stacks added in relation to the amount of toughness depleted for a maximum of eight stacks so this means the more damage due to the toughness bar certain thresholds you will get more stacks at once and here is another cool thing to this ability when Shui allies deplete the target toughness, so when your allies also attack and damage the toughness bar, she will also gain one stack of karma. But do keep in mind, this is only one instance of the stack. You can get multiple instances at once. It's gonna be one per character basically when karma reaches the max number of stacks she will perform a follow-up attack on a target dealing quantum damage for three times with each hit of damage being inflicted on a single target equal to percentage of her attack this follow-up attack will not add karma stacks so what's important to understand that this attack it is random it can hit multiple random targets each hit it's 15 weakness break if it is single target it's gonna go up to 45 as of right now now at E0 at least uh, this is a pretty good talent it's going to exceptionally work great against quantum weakness enemies uh, however if it's not quantum this talent does get improved with eidolons as well we're going to go over eidolons a bit later down in the video as well because she's a four star character and you will most likely get some of these eidolons as for her technique nothing special she will attack the enemy deal aoe damage to everyone think of it like shusheng technique opener similar to that but quantum all right so now let's go over to the bonus abilities the bonus abilities might not be in proper order just as i adds up but nevertheless we're going to cover all of them the first one she will increase the damage dealt based on the amount equal to 100 of her own break effect meaning that she will get a lot of damage boost just by stacking a lot of break effect we're gonna cover this down more in the build section later down in the video however this damage boost is capped at 240 percent break effect just as a heads up then the second bonus ability when she uses an ultimate if the enemy toughness is higher than 50 percent of their max toughness shui deals uh, additional more damage it's a nice little boost but nothing special and then to the last one when her applied karma stacks exceed the maximum stack count every extra stack of karma will convert to one stack of sin for a maximum of six stacks after shui talent is triggered consumes all sin stacks and gain one stack of karma for every stack of sin consumed this way this is also really amazing because you will get to do extra follow-up attacks this is very important because remember your teammates will contribute at getting your stacks faster as well not just herself so this overflow of 
extra and then being used allows you to basically get quicker slash more follow-up attacks it is very nice regarding the efficacy of follow-up attacks it does get much improved with eidolons but like i said we'll get to the eidolons very soon first we're gonna also check the stat bonuses she gets plenty of break effect a bit of quantum damage and hp percentage which is kind of whatever at least you do get the break effect part unfortunately there is no crit rate because crit would also be something useful for her now let's go over to her eidolons her first eidolon will increase the talent follow-up damage which is also pretty nice but the second one is where it's at the second eidolon will basically allow follow-up attacks to deplete toughness regardless of weakness type this is extremely good because they're not just the ultimate ultimate but also these follow-up attacks will be able to damage toughness bar meaning she's going to be much more splashable in different kind of situations uh, more than ever before she also gets a little heal on top based on her max hp which is nice uh, and of course if the follow-up attack will break the enemy it will inflict weakness break of quantum which is also nice e3 just kill basic attack e4 after using ultimate her break effect will increase by 40 percent for two turns this is her own two turns of course it's pretty powerful very nice e5 it's ultimate and talent and e6 is also pretty strong which reduces the max karma stacks to six meaning with six stacks you'll be able to perform follow-up attacks much faster which is really powerful really good but i would say personally that e2 is gonna be a really good point for her to be very good and usable in more kind of situations e6 does elevate her further but already with e2 a lot of new avenues team composition especially enemy lineups open up with her so now let's go over to the build basically we will want to use four piece thief set which provides 32 percent break effect for planner ornament set it's going to be talia kingdom of banditry which provides 36 percent break effect assuming you get enough speed which you should be able to do so rope is going to give you another 64.8 percent break effect plus her minor traces will give you 37.3 percent break effect so in total you will basically have guaranteed 170.1% break effect this is really good because this is without any substats if you can also get some stop stats and reach closer to 240% which is the cap you will get more damage boost and because of getting a lot of this damage boost we might be able to also disregard a quantum damage orb it is very possible to potentially also use an attack orb on her instead because you get a lot of damage damage boost from her own kit anyway and you might be over capping diminishing returns and whatnot so it's another pretty nice option as for potentially good teams for shui you have uh, the silver wolf route of course if you want to force the quantum element however for a mono quantum situation it might be more trickier because you really want shui to be the ones that performs the break because if you play a full mono quantum team shui might not get the last hit consistently for you to get the break effect value out of quantum entanglement because after all she's gonna be the one with break effect in the team however if you do have e2 as i mentioned earlier you'll be able to disregard much more the enemy type weakness because the follow-up attacks will also contribute and not just the ultimate so she's gonna be an excellent breaker splashable characters for many ruan may teams as well when you miss that one slot of something she will be very easily be able to be put in there because remember guys ruan may does boost 50% weakness break efficiency and this really adds up well with Shui kit where she has already high weakness break on her ultimate and pretty decent on follow-up attack as well especially if it's e2 so we'll be able to break enemies even faster more consistently overall they will have definitely a good synergy however as of right now it seems to me that we're still missing one uh, piece of the puzzle potentially we're gonna get uh, in the future another break effect support uh, and that break effect support uh, will 
will finalize the Shui team more. Because right now it does seem to me that it is missing one piece that could elevate her more. Especially if they release any kind of support which would allow you to enhance the toughness breaking or even like giving an extra special toughness break bar where Shui could break even more often. That would be pretty good value as well also for Ruan Mei teams. Regarding Ruan Mei, if you want to know more about her in detail, I have another YouTube video about her. Also for Dr. Ratio, I do have it. I will also have a Dr. Ratio team build guide more in detail as a separate video, probably somewhere after this video itself. So this is pretty much everything for Shuye. She's a very interesting character with extremely high potential. I personally hope she ends up being on Ruan Mei banner because she synergizes really well with her. But as we know, Hoyo, they will most likely slap her on Dr. Ratio banner instead. But uh, as I said, overall, I'm very excited about this character. Hopefully, I can get at least one copy or ideally three copies so we can have that E2 and make it much more splashable in our future Ruan Mei teams. Of course, she can also work outside of Ruan Mei, but I see her in focus with any break effect, break efficiency teams to be probably her best place to be used. That would be all for this uh, video, guys. Uh, as always, uh, I wish you a wonderful day, but before that, uh, also don't forget to give it a like, uh, subscribe to my channel for more Honky Style content, uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Take care.